Okay, so for the foundation, we are going to, uh, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Infallible. It's a Pro Matte 24 Hour one. So this one, you don't need a lot of this, but it's, um, this is the one I choose to wear today. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my um, blending sp uh, sponge here. I don't, I'm forgetting what it's called. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to go ahead and light, do like one layer. Beauty Blender. Oh my gosh. So you guys can tell that I have not been uh, doing makeup tutorials or anything because I forgot what this sponge is called. Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to lightly do one coat. And I only put a little bit on here, just enough to do a light coat. And I'm just putting this bandana on just to keep the hair away from the face. Okay, so concealer time. And I am using um, Hard, Candy, Hard Candy's Sheer Envy. Okay, and this is in a medium tone. And I usually either do like a triangle and then a few up here and on the bridge of the nose. The sides of the mouth, sides of the nose, and on the chin and the cupid's bow. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same area of the blending um why can i say this today you guys of the beauty blender so i just lightly pat that on okay and now i'm just going to go ahead and uh contour with a bronzer this is by rimmel and um it's called one or zero two one sunlight and i'm just taking this uh techniques brush here and I'm gonna do in the future I'll do a more thorough um, tutorial on how I do my foundation highlighting contouring um, you know the, the whole basics from start to finish this is just a quick tutorial today on a neutral look so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here not on the cheekbone but right here on the hollows Okay, and since this is a really light, natural, neutral tone type of makeup tutorial, I'm not going to put any blush, um, any kind of colored blush, but I will use NYX uh, Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and it has a slightly pinkish tone. And if you guys remember, I used this on my JLo tutorials in the past. So just with the ring finger, I'm just going to dab this right up here and just blend that in. Okay, and using Maybelline's uh, eyeshadow palette, The Smokes, I will be using this like a taupe brown color. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this right, because um, I have a hooded eye, so that means my crease is really low, and this part right here kind of hangs over. So I'm just going to press right here. See where it, the eyeball socket is right there? So that's kind of where my starting point will be. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of this in there. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this like as um, a little background transition color. And I'll blend this out with a blending brush. And I'm kind of going in a circular motion here. Okay, so now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just gonna work that out a little bit, blend it out. Okay, next I'm using uh, NYC's Pink Topaz and it's an eyeshadow, 
And if you could see, I'm going to swatch it for you guys. You just need a little bit and look how pretty that is. Can you see that? It's like a light pink topaz, really shimmery and, and just beautiful. So when it catches the light, it's so nice. Okay, so we're just going to put that on the lid here. And I'm just going to kind of dab it just on the lower lid. And I'm not going to blend this out or anything. I'm just going to press it to the area I want it. Okay, for the eyeliner, I'm not going to use black today. I'm just going to keep it kind of soft. Uh, this is by Milani. It's a gel eyeliner, and it is number three brown foil. And it comes with this cute little eyeliner brush here, as you can see. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little bit of this on the lower lash line and on the top lash line. And if you want for this look, you can completely skip the eyeliner and just curl your lashes and put mascara if you like. Okay, so here's the um, liner. See how it's very thin and, and very um, subtle? And here we go, we're gonna curl the top lashes. And I don't have thick or long lashes at all. So sometimes I put on falsies, otherwise, um, it's no biggie if you don't. Just curl your lashes good and, and get some good mascara to thicken it. For this look, there's definitely going to be no falsies because it's a very simple um, and quick look. Okay. And you guys know my favorite mascara is by Lancome Hypnos. And this is so awesome for, for uh, lashes that are very thin. It really volumizes it and separates it so nice. And it does not take the curl. Um, where is my mirror? It doesn't take the curl out of your lashes. Some mascaras, you curl your lashes, you put it on and it goes straight. But this one's really good. So if you have really thin lashes like mine, and you need volume and a little bit of length and you want the curl to stay, this is really great. I don't know where my pencil sharpener is for my um, eyebrows because my kids, when we were moving, they were playing with my makeup cases. Um, and this one here is by Maybelline. Uh, brow pencil precise it's in auburn and I normally use that in the other one that's green um, but because I don't have my sharpener and it's really gone see I'm gonna go ahead and use the old school Maybelline uh, in medium brown and I love this I have been using this since um, let's just say the sixth grade when nobody was allowed to wear makeup but um, what we we used to burn the tip and then let it sit like this for like 30 seconds and then put it on and it would stay. But this is, I call this my old school eyeliner and I always have to have one in my makeup case. But I'm gonna go ahead and just brush with the spoolie. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, thank God it's sharp because I don't have any, I don't know where the sharpeners are. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to go right here, and I'll do a more thorough tutorial on this, but this is my quick brow. I just go right up here, and I arch it, and I'm just going to join it here at the tail. That is my quick brow look. Okay, and you guys know how I like to fade my eyebrows out. I don't like the inner corners to be as the same color as the three-fourths of the eyebrow. And I can use any light uh, eyeshadow or I can use the NYX uh, Eyebrow Duo, the lighter shade. But I am in love with putting this 
gold bronzy color with this light beige color when I fade out my brows in the front. And I just kind of go up here first and I kind of flick it up and then I just slowly fade it out over here. See, it just gives it that uh, nice faded look. So a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And you can combine any brow, like a lighter brown or shimmery color you like to fade out your brows. It just looks nice when it's faded. But remember not to go too close. Just enough to give it that look that it's lighter in the inner corners. And then you can flick it up also. I don't know if you could see it really good, but it just looks so good when it's faded out like that. And then go ahead and take your favorite um, eyebrow mascara, and I'm just using Maybelline's Brow Drama, and this is in a soft brown. And I'm just going to put some of this to put all the hairs nicely. And I already brushed it earlier with the spoolie, but this one just colors in the hairs and blends it all nicely together. Okay, and for the lips, we are gonna keep it totally neutral, and you know how I love my uh, Rimmel's Tiramisu 050 Tiramisu shade, and I'm just gonna line the lips. I already put ointment on earlier, so I'm just gonna light the lip, or line the lips in a subtle way here. And you can skip the lip liner part. It's up to you, but I'm just, um, I just love it. Okay, and then we're going to do the JLo, uh, the Neutral Nudes by JLo collection by L'Oreal. And this is number 370, and it's called Jennifer's Nude from the Jennifer Lopez um, collection. There it is. It looks like that. And we are going to go ahead and put a little bit of lip gloss over this. And I am going to use my favorite lip gloss, one of my favorites. This is um, by L'Oreal. It's a number 158 Peach Fuzz. Okay, everyone, so this is the final look, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will be back um, hopefully in our new place in a few weeks, and we will do more cooking, hair, and makeup tutorials. And I really hope you did like this video. It's a really quick makeup tutorial, and um, if you're in a big rush, you, you don't have to do the eyeliner, you don't have to do the lip liner. And um, as long as you have the basic foundation and highlighting and contouring, um, you're good to go. So, and then the brows always frame the face nicely. So if you can groom your brows, that would be really nice and helpful. You don't even have to put a lot of makeup on, but have the basic foundation of, um, you know, evening out your skin with either some kind of light foundation or BB or CC creams, um, any kind of lip gloss, just whatever you can, um, put together where it kind of frames your face nicely. Usually that's uh, with the eyebrows and lip gloss and some kind of uh, coverage to even out your skin if your skin is not so even. If it is, then you can skip that part too. But here is my light, light neutral makeup. So I hope you liked it and I will see you soon everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.